All right, today I'm going to do two um, guided practice problems with you before you work on your independent practice. So in the previous lesson, we talked about how we could use our measurement chart um, to make sure we could use those conversions, those unit rates between customary and metric units. So when we looked at that, the chart was given for us. And um, in today's lesson, we're actually going to see that we've already given you those unit rates, so we didn't have to look at that chart. But if we needed that chart, we would have that for you, okay? So it says, Cassandra used 2 and 8 tenths pounds of ground beef and a recipe of hamburger casserole. About how many kilograms, because remember the key word's about, because these are approximations, since we're going between the units, is the mass of the ground beef. So remember your O is your original ratio. That's like your math chart fact. That is your unit rate of what you're given. So we know that pounds is being compared to kilogram. And pound, in case you forgot, the abbreviation is LBS. So if you had that um, in your math chart, that's what that stands for. So we know for every one pound, there's 0 0.4 five, three, six kilograms. And it's okay that that doesn't fit in that box. That's just there to kind of model that for us. So the two and eight tenths pounds, this is why we need to label, because if we took, put the two and eight tenths there, that's gonna be completely set up wrong. So we need to make sure that we put that number what represents the pounds. And then we're going to put X. Okay, so now we're going to cross multiply and divide. So we're doing 0 0.4536 times 2 and 8 tenths, and then divide by 1. Here again, just like we did in the previous lesson, we are going to go ahead and cross multiply and divide. Normally you are going to have to do this on your own, but because of the amount of problems we're giving you, we're going to go ahead and let you guys use a calculator, and we're going to round to the nearest hundreds. So because this is how I show my work, so when we check your work, that's what we're looking for. 4.4536 times 2.8. That gives me a product of 1.27008. And anything divided by 1, of course, is itself. So if we wrote the answer 1.27008, just like yesterday, we're going to round to the nearest hundreds. So the tenths, this is the hundreds place. You only have to look at the number in the thousands place. To estimate four or less, we're going to let that rest. Five or more, we're going to add one more. So our final answer is going to be one and 27 hundredths. And don't forget your units, it's kilograms. If this were multiple choice, there might be a trick answer of one and 27 hundredths pounds. So that's why we want to make sure that we have our labels. The other trick answer, if you accidentally put 2.8 right here and did 2.8 times one and then divided by point four, five, three, six. I would, I would predict that that would be a trick answer because you did the math right, but you set it up wrong. So that's why we need to make sure we have our labels so they don't fall for those trick answers. All right, let's keep going. It says Felicity measured the length of her room and found that it was four and five tenths yards long. About how many meters, so that way we know that we're comparing yards to meters, is the length of her room. So again, the original ratio is the math chart fact what they're giving us. For every one yard, we have 91 hundredths of a meter. So that four and five tenths is going to be right here to the yards. Now normally we try to look for a scale factor or factor of change, which technically speaking, we do have a between scale factor from one times 4.5 gets you to 4.5. So we could do that down here to the left, but if it's just easier to cross, multiply, and divide for every one of these, that's what you want you to do. So we're going to do our cross products to make sure that we know what we're looking at. So we have 91 hundredths times 4 and 5 tenths divided by 1. Here again, we would know if we were to set this up mathematically that we would line up the digits when we multiply, um, but we're going to go ahead and let you guys use the calculator just for the amount of problems that we're looking at. So if you forgot how to, how to multiply and divide with decimals, just make sure you look at your notes or ask your teacher to help you out. So if you want to try these without a calculator and then check with the calculator, that would be good too. So we have 91 hundredths times 44 and 5 tenths. So my product is 4 and 95 hundredths. I divide by 95 thousandths, excuse me. 
divide by 1, I get 4 and 95 thousandths. Again, we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. So the zero is in my tenth, the nine is in my hundredths. So I only have to look at that number in the thousandths. So if I say four or less, let that rest. Five or more, add one more. Well, think about that as money. If that's four dollars and nine cents, if I add one more, it's going to be four dollars and ten cents. Or you can just write four and one tenth. Okay, so think about that like money. So if we're adding one to nine, it's going to make it ten. And we don't want to forget a unit, we are looking for liters. So if this was multiple choice, either one of these is correct. If it was fill in the blank, either one of those is correct. All right, so look at this video, kind of see how we're going to work this from the word problems. Very similar to what we did with the skill, but now they're um, not telling you what you're, you have to read the problem to look what you're solving for. As always, good luck and let us know if you need any help.